My wonderful people, it's happening. Tinubu oops on Peter Obi's Labour Party challenge. After, lab after he said, Labour Party will labour till death. He said it was misspoken. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, why he was in a Oshobo, that's an Oshun state, trying to get, you know, uh, voters to stay with his brother and, you know, voters to support his brother, Oyetola, who has spent one ten already and seeking a re-election, says uh, the people should not vote other mushroom parties, especially one they call Labour Party, that they will labour till the end, till they die, particularly was what he said. And um, after all they said and done, now uh, we, are, we are getting apology, okay, saying that uh, it was it was misspoken. Okay, it was misspoken. It was not the intention. Well, my wonderful people, this is what is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Tinubu oops on Peter Obi's label, hashtag label challenge after he said they were labeled to death. He said it was misspoken. Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress presidential candidates has jumped on Peter Obi's inspired hashtag labor challenge to portray himself as a hard-working Nigeria working hard to secure our future one of one for all Nigeria for our families and for our great nation hard work is Nigeria proud to be working hard but with some by my side labor hashtag labor challenge Mr. Tinubu wrote on his official Facebook page hashtag Labor challenge is a raging social media trended by Nigerians, especially young people, sympathetic to the cause of the Labour Party, where they showcase their endeavor and, aff and affirm that there is dignity in labor. The trend was inspired by the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi in response to a derogatory comment by Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Mr. Tinubu's campaigning on Wednesday for his party in Oshobo, in Oshun, for Saturday governorship election, derogated the Labour Party as a mushroom party, saying its candidates and supporters will labor till death. Reacting, Mr. Obi on Thursday at the Labour Party rally for his own candidate said, Labour, Labour, people who are working hard have not been paid. Everybody said the everybody said that they can labor. Some people said that we can labor till death. When they talk like that, when they, they when they talk like that, they show you your their hate for the labor party, and they show you and we show them love instead. Labor party wants to remove Nigeria from consumption to production. You cannot do production without labor. So there is dignity in labor, and those who are, who have labored will get their reward. Obi has added. Mr. Obi's dignity in labor response widely has held on his online supporters who spread who who spread no who spend no time in creating labor challenge, which is now spreading like wildfire on social media. And everywhere, the former Nambra governor, a self, uh, a, a, a politician, commended has commanded a large and energetic followers among Nigerian youth who call themselves obedient supporters and see their candidates as a better alternative to the current Nigerian problem. So this is what is happening. Tinubu said people will labor till they, they die, that they should continue to labor. Uh, but Peter Obi said, well, there is dignity in labor. We love to labor. Because anyone who work will eat, we get wages. It's only in Nigeria that people who work at this day, they are not treated, you know, as the real people. And these are the people, these are the men and women who have shown true dignity, who have worked hard, who have done all they can to ensure that things are running. We can, if we must move from consumption to from consu from consumption to production, we must work at it. We must labor. Even the, even the Bible says anyone who should not work should not eat, okay? Even those that are stealing money, are they not working? <laughs> they are working now. You know, I mean, disclaimer, that's not to say, please, like, you should go and involve yourself in any form of 
you know, any form of wrongdoing. You do that, you are caught, you'll be dealt with with the full out of the law. So these are some of the things happening right now and why every one of us, you know, must rise up for what is right and ensure that we shun those who are currently, you know, devastating or destroying this nation, you know, in their own way. If one man will have money that is enough to settle Nigerians' debts, yet they still want to be president. I mean, you know that it's not for the money. They are coming in for the power. The power that he commands to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Ooh, you see that chill is sent down the spine. That's what they are after. Despite the fact that other nations could have called them whatever they want to call them, thieves, blah, blah, blah. But they are coming there and they are being honored as president. How derogatory. How ironic. But that's what they want to command. That's what they see. And they say, you know what, eh? we'll get there. You know, we're, we're in Africa, you know, Nigeria. Those who are truly deserving, you know, sometimes do not get it. Those who have not, who are not deserving are the ones who now come on board, you know, and are becoming the ones who are giving leadership with selfish ideas and minds. Listen, Nigerians, we must work at it and do what we can. Although I know that uh, fraud has begun already, in case you are not aware. In case you are not aware, it's already on ground, full scale. People are already collecting PVCs and hiding it in their homes. Oh, you're not aware? Uh, PVCs are already being buried in people's homes now. People are, there's a large you know, number of PVCs being found in uh, Imo State, in Oshun State. And what they want to do with this, carry out the same process, destroy the electoral process, and get on to say, we are the one who won. So, Nigerians, it is what it is. Except God truly delivers us and saves us, I don't know where this nation is headed. I can assure you for free. I don't know where the nation is headed. So this is why it is a serious call for every one of us to begin to rise to it and ensure that, you know, we do what is absolutely right and necessary if we want Nigeria to move forward. The time to arise is now. Okay? The time to arise is now. We cannot afford to sit back and pretend that all is going well. Guys, all is not going well, though. All is not going well at all. A lot of things are going on. And it is important that every one of us rise to the occasion. If we don't, then there are serious consequences. Okay? There are serious consequences. And every one of us must truly speak out for what is right so that we can move forward. Okay? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now.